The fire that burns in the social, psychological, and spiritual dimensions of humanity can ruin the world. Or this fire can transform into community. It's up to us. Sitting in the fire, Arnold Mendel. In this program, and in this series, you'll learn about a group process called World Work, a process committed to building community by paying close attention to power, rank, revenge, and abuse in group work. World Work begins with the work of Dr. Arnold Mendel. Trained first as a theoretical physicist at MIT in Boston, he went on to study Jungian psychology in Switzerland. There he drew on other psychological approaches, Eastern philosophy, non-Western and shamanic traditions to develop his own approach to individual therapy. It's called process work. Today there are thousands of people around the world who have been trained in this therapeutic approach. In the 1980s, with Dr. Amy Mendel and other process work colleagues, Arnie Mendel began to apply these personal therapeutic techniques to class, race, gender, and other conflicts that arise at the group and social level, a process that is now called world work. So world work works at the, at the most uh, everyday level of rights and distribution of power and distribution of money and distribution of uh, uh, respect and what have you and also at this deeper level. All the feeling stuff and emotional human stuff, the upsetness, the antagonism, the great dreams and desires that we have, giving that a floor and letting that stuff come forward and speak. And so world work deals with learning how to manage and get deeper into the emotional and then even into the dream-like situations of all of us so that we can come together and work together better. The Mindells and other world work facilitators work with a variety of groups and businesses around the world. And over the years, they've held world work training seminars in Europe, in India, in the state of Oregon, and in the summer of 1999 in Washington, D.C. at Howard University. Here in Washington, as in all world work seminars, there's no agenda per se. The group as a whole tries to fairly sort through all the issues and concerns in the room and come to a consensus on which issue to focus. We have tried to get Northern Ireland on the board since we have arrived. I really would like us to focus on Holocaust and contemporary uh, anti-Semitism. I want to be heard. This is exactly what you do in international development. The push us back on the agenda, back and back and down all the time. Our sister is here who is indigenous, who is invisible in this country, Native American Indians. In my country, on my land, I'm invisible. I'd Hold like to speak. I have, a, I have a topic for eldership. And we Thank just want you. to get ourselves on the board. Uh, we can go on with issues all day. I come from Balkans and I would like us to focus on gay and lesbian today so that we can really focus on what is happening over there tomorrow. And on day three, the four facilitators helped the group come to a consensus. They took up the question of what it means to be disabled or differently abled. Debbie Yeager launched the process. So I want to start this process by inviting people to come into the circle if you identify yourself as having a disability. It can be an invisible disability. It can be your relationship with your life. Um, and I also um, want to ask for some support because I'm going to ask the people not have to sit on the floor. And so we're going to need chairs for the people uh, who are coming in. So anybody who'd like to come and join this who identifies themselves as a disabled person so here we start the process. Here, here we start the process. Uh, Debbie, can I ask, would you like any 
can we assist you in any way? Or? I want everything you've got. Okay. I'm not going to miss anything in this opportunity. Okay. <laughs> We're with you. This is great. This is great. So the, there, there are two different things that I'm thinking of starting with, and I'm not sure um, which way to do this. But the one thing I want to say for myself is I have a great deal of anger about coping with having a disability in this world. And this conference is a microcosm for me of what that's about. And it's pretty risky to be angry when you have a disability, because if you offend somebody, it's going to be hard if you need them to help you. So I, I, I want to start by laying that out. Um, and I'm thinking about the list of stuff about knowing that you have low rank. It's like I want to make sure that people know it's not personal, but boy, do I want to have a chance to get mad. <laughs> and I don't think I'm the only person who's, who's feeling that. Um, and then where that takes me to... Okay. Please remind me to slow, slow up. Is that Susanna and I have been having an ongoing conversation about what word to use to describe this group. And the moderators, the, the facilitators said differently abled, and the word that comes out of my mouth is disability. And it seems to me that that might be a good place to start with the conversation. And if, if, if that doesn't feel right to other people, um, let me know. Is there, are there other issues that you, any of you are feeling that you'd like to talk about? <coughs> I, um, when I came to America, uh, to the United States, and I heard that uh, disability is an official expression and chosen by the group of disabled people, I got a um, major shock because for me it was a put down and um, because I don't feel disabled and um, I'm not able to do some things, but uh, I think that uh, uh, is um, that is um, um, due to everybody. And I think when one group owns this disability, then the others um, don't think about their disability and the, uh, this group has a problem but not the others and that for me one reason I don't want to use it and I think differently abled is really for all people and um, that makes us not to the problem it's for me it's my point of view can I say back how I understand what you said so that I can make sure I know what you were saying and that everybody else understands also? What I understand you to say is that if we call ourselves disabled, it makes it our problem, whereas it's their problem. And, that, and you feel that by saying differently abled, it doesn't carry the same kind of weight. For me, not. For you. You keep, you keep getting closer to convincing me, because I think it's their problem too. The, the problem in my experience is that there are all these euphemisms, there are all these substitute words that are used to describe physical limitations, and they're so that people can avoid looking at them and confronting them. I've been reading a writer recently who only refers to herself as a cripple. And I, while I hate the word, when, it, when I read her writing and it comes off her tongue, her tongue so, to, so to speak, I, I start to think, okay, I'm the, I'll, I'll be a cripple, because it'll force those people who think it's my problem to hear that word and start to think about it. And it's so frustrating when you talk about an issue of, of gender, it's sexism. It's nice two-syllable word. And you talk about an issue of race, it's racism. You got another nice two-syllable word. Well, just like the complications of disability, 
which is the word that's going to roll off my tongue naturally, we don't even have a good word to use. Mm. Wow. So that, that to me is part of what I think the problem is. It might be good to hear some of yeah. all the other people who... So it's like a kind of invisibility here. or something. Uh, for me, the most important thing in being the kind I am is that is, uh, are the reactions of uh, the people because my different ability is visible. Other pe uh, people uh, abilities are not so visible than mine and therefore it's very difficult to deal with the different, very, very different uh, reactions of people some people who want good and ask, oh, how, how are you doing? How are you working? How are it's, and that's hurt. They want good, but it's sometimes uh, uh, this good intention isn't, is not good for me. Sí, yo voy a hablar en español porque es mi idioma y me siento en desventaja aquí porque ustedes hablan inglés y yo hablo medio inglés. Y no quiero intentar hablar un medio inglés, quiero hablar mi idioma y es lo que voy a hacer. Yo me siento discapacitada aquí por mi idioma, porque ustedes no han intentado entender otros idiomas, no hay traducción, a los talleres que yo he ido, pues hay traducción a otros idiomas. Aquí asumieron que todos debíamos saber inglés y perfecto. Y esto no es así. <laughs> Can we get someone to translate that, what you said? She's going to. Oh, oh, great. No. <laughs> uh, yo, yo también hablo español. Yo hablo solamente español. Y creo que en este momento ustedes tienen que hacer un esfuerzo para entender a la gente que tenemos otro tipo de capacidades. <laughs> Yo quiero que hablemos de la fuerza de los débiles. Of the strong of the In English? Okay, now I would like uh, for us to think about the strength of the weak. Yo creo que los débiles por lo mismo tenemos o hemos tenido como mujeres o como tercermundistas más posibilidad de desarrollarnos interiormente. Ustedes su fuerza es exterior y esa se cae rápido. And I think that the weak, we as third world, we as women, as disabled, have been able to develop other kinds of abilities, and these abilities have to do with inner strength. You guys in the first world have developed a lot of abilities that are out there, but these fall very easily. Creo que tenemos una fuerza espiritual que su cultura no tiene y que pronto van a ir a buscarla a nuestros países como India, como México, y serán bienvenidos y les hablaremos en español. Hindu, no sé, no hablan inglés. I think that uh, this culture is sooner or later going to encounter this weakness, and you're going to have to go to the weak countries, to the weak cultures, looking for, looking for this strength, which is spiritual strength that you don't have. Then you're going to have to go to India, and they're going to speak in, in, in Hindi, Hindu, <laughs> yeah. Or you're going to go to Mexico, and we're going to speak in Spanish. But you're going to be welcomed, and we're going to help you find that strength. I have, a, I have a real problem with this. I have to tell you that I have a great deal of sympathy, a, a great deal of concern about the disparity between the first world and the third world. But I just feel as though I've been hijacked. Isn't there and, and I'm not happy about it, and, I, and I'd like to be really nice and shut up, but I'm not willing to do that. I... You can get... 
you can get into this room by yourself mm -hmm. to do anything you want to do. Mm -hmm. You can ask somebody to translate for you. But I can't get into this room and I can't get into the dormitory unless I've got somebody to help me. Pero yo necesito otra ayuda también. Yo puedo perderme en la ciudad. Puedo tal vez ir a un lugar peligroso sin saberlo porque no leo inglés. Sí, yo también puedo perderme en la ciudad o puedo perderme porque no hablo el idioma. That's, esa es otra incapacidad. Sí. Sí. Este, sí. Okay, I can I can also get lost in the city and I can't read the the, the messages there. So that's so, but so can a blind so the same thing happens to a blind person. I had thought there was a consensus that we were going to work on this issue. And um, it appears there isn't a consensus. Mm -hmm. No, solo yo quería decir que tenemos fuerza interior. Tú también tienes mucha fuerza interior y por eso estás no. aquí hablando. Has tenido posibilidad de desarrollarla porque no has podido salir a hacer cosas que los demás con mm -hmm. tus que pueden caminar lo hacen. Yeah, the issue is not so much a first or third world thing. The thing is that because we have these disabilities. And this is not a disability. Uh, yeah. We're talking about. I, I, I'm not yeah, willing. It's a I, cultural. Let finish. Just I, a I'm sorry, but I can't call it a disability. If you consider yourself to be disabled, then I'll ask you to be responsible for it. Because the way I get into this room and mm -hmm. the way I get into the dorm is that I'm responsible for doing that. I came to this conference knowing that I was going to face those limitations. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think we can have room for all the disabilities well. without one being sacrificed. I, I would like to hear you speak in detail mm -hmm. about the, lim the difficulties that your situation has, but I think that we can bring in other disabilities, other differentnesses, other limitations. We're having maybe a conversation here about what we call it, which is what the way you started was. Mm -hmm. I know that, and I'm torn, and I'm a little confused, yeah. because there really are two different issues here. Can I, can I say a word? I think it may be that each of you are talking to something over here that's not represented. It's the one that uh, puts up the signs only in English. It's the one that uh, puts up uh, obstructions so that it's hard for people who don't walk in the same way as the majority uh, are stopped by that. So maybe you could talk to me if I could represent that person for a moment, that, that ghost. I wanted to say something about what just happened previously, and, and I'm sorry to skip around. I'm really frustrated that there's always something more important than dis disabled people. That my experience is that if you look at rank, disabled people are at the bottom of the rank ranking, that, that disabled people end up with, with, if you look at economic charts, disabled women and disabled women of color have the lowest income in the world, in the United States. We earn less money than black men. And I know that there are problems with black men I'm going to screw this up, damn it. I, I know that I've seen charts and read articles talking about the difficulties in, in getting, over, getting past certain places. And I, I just, so that's my frustration. So I find myself in the place of, of I've got no one to, to fight against. So when you, when you come in, I'm going to fight against you because there's nobody left for me to fight against. Right. I fight against this thing here. Right. I, I, I would Excuse like to me, may I say something? 
Um, I, I have feared something like that. I really don't want a competition. I don't want that we fight against each other. I don't and either. <coughs> And I don't either. Please don't anybody yeah. see me as if uh, I'm doing that. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. We are and, and I I I have this difficulty that um although I'm this differently abled, I'm I'm for myself I'm um, although white, and maybe I have I'm more um, more um, the advantages and privileges than, for example, a differently able person with color. That I and the other thing is, you are right. We 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 are with the children with the age people. We are the button, and we have more difficulties to find a job. We have more difficulties to come into a building. We, uh, the, the, um, the world isn't very accessible for us. Um, and although the crazy thing is that all, when they uh, made uh, accessible things, that's not only for us, that's also more accessible for others. Yes, but when I'm a passionate social activist, and if you don't know that about me, you haven't listened to me, but when I go to work on something regarding race relations, maybe I can't get into the building. Right. And when I go to a, a women's meeting, I have to explain to the woman sitting next to me why when she talks about the Jerry Lewis telethon, she's hurting me. When she talks about that as her expression of giving to disabled people. So every time oh. I go to be a social activist about another issue, what, what comes crashing back into my face is the stuff about disability. That's right. That's right. right. What I want to say is that I've got a vocal disorder. I was not born with it. I had an accident. And we did a world work in Seaside. And one of the women in the group got up and danced. She's got MS, I believe. I knew when that woman got up and danced there was going to be a group process. Anytime I show up and open up my mouth and begin to speak, I get looks you would not believe. When people hear something out of the normal, there is always a possibility it could be them, and they don't want it in their face. So when we show up in the way that we do, representing ourselves as best we know how in the face of all that disdain, that fear, that rejection, we are showing up with our spirit, with what we know how to do to operate in a world that operates from normalcy, from average, from what we are supposed to look and sound like, how we are supposed to walk, how we are supposed to think, how are we supposed, our nervous system is to operate a certain way. And when we remind people that this could happen to them, they don't want us around, they don't want to be reminded, they want us to go the fuck away. Excuse me, young ladies, but they do. That's, it. That's right. Wow. That's right. That's the center. I just woke from the dead. You just woke from the dead. Which is, which is why 
I suspect people, oh, people ask, how, uh, how are you doing? Or they, they, want, they want to think that you're better or you're cured. I hear it all the time. Yes. How are you walking? And the, in, in, the, in back here is, I want you to be better, because if you're not, it, it means that this could happen to me or my mother or whatever. Yeah. And we are the shadow. We're the health shadow. We're the unknown shadow. Anything could happen at any time. My voice has been heard a lot this week, and it's going to be heard more, I'm sure. But, um, sí, so, lo siento. Um, I have always had the privilege of walking, and, and I've always had the privilege of being able to walk amongst everybody else the same way until two months ago when I fell and tore my knee apart. And since that time, my life has just been totally different. Um, for two months, I walked with a brace on my leg that was very evident, very obvious. Not only could I not walk down the hallway, but I felt that everybody and their mother felt they had to stop and ask me, do you need help? Um, or you get the looks down the hall, or you get, gee, that looks painful. Well, hell yeah, it's painful. What the fuck you think I'm wearing it for? You know, it's, it's like stupidity becomes a great commodity with people who are not disabled. And, and I have to put it out there like that. It hurts. You know, I walk around with this cane right now. I can't tell you every time I go to the bathroom how many people have to stop me and ask me, are you okay? I don't want you to ask me if I'm okay. I don't want you to ask me if I'm okay. No, I'm not okay. And if I say no, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> are you going to rub my leg for me? Are you going to go out and get me pain pills? Are you going to make me feel better? Hell no, you're not. You're going to stand there with a dumbass look on your face. Duh. Don't do that for me. That's patronizing to me. That's patronizing to all of us. Accept us as people. We are people first, not disabled people. You know? Yes, my leg, it doesn't work all the way. It will one day eventually. The stalls. Mm -hmm. I watch my sister here. Mm -hmm. Watch okay? me, when, yeah. Mm -hmm. How many of the women in this room <laughs> know that when I go to the bathroom, I can't close so, the stall door? It looks like we're inviting the outer away. group in, and maybe we should have Don't a consensus here if that's what uh, we uh, No, we're not. Do. We're haranguing them and making them feel as guilty as we can. Amen, <laughs> amen. <laughs> I'm no, sorry. we don't want to do that, but we want people to understand. We want I'm people sorry. to understand how hard it is. Okay. Um, ich möchte ein paar Sätze sagen in Deutsch, aber sage ich nur zu Anfang. Um, my points will be raised in English. It is um, two points. The reason you asked us to join if we feel disabled. I feel disabled because I have problems in relating to disabled people or people of um, different uh, abilities. Being a person with no, no, not known disabilities generally yet. Um, the point I want to raise, the second point I want to mention is um, I know a quality inside myself. I would call it a contempt uh, of weakness. This means if people are weak, I make use of it. And um, this is a big problem. I think also from um, history in, in Germany, we, we consider this the root of fascism. If you make use of people who are weaker than yourself. And I know a lot of that is inside myself. And I, it comes out and can come out in any minute and with women, disabled people, or black people, which I don't uh, know it in my own It did today country. with me. It did today we, with me. I'd like to work with you on that. Shall we shift to a personal? It looks like we're shifting levels, and this might be very productive. Should we do that? Yeah. 
So, this morning, when the heat was on, and there were black people standing up talking, this was before you guys were sitting down, you got the microphone and started to talk. I have three children. They are grown up by now. But in my... And I said to you, some version of get your white butt out of there. This is about the black people. You're using your rank as a white man to speak. You have no business speaking. And you replied to me, you have no rank. I hope I got the intonation correct. This is, yeah, this is a hot spot. Let's, uh, um, ouch. That's difficult. I, if, and I said something else I, uh, on top of that. I said, I'm glad I have this rank. And I've, I enjoyed having this rank because um, I didn't care for you in this uh, incident because you just came in. It was not your business. Mm -hmm. I was protecting my three children whom I wouldn't want to have here. That's why I joined um, JC yeah. on this. Before, they weren't here. Before you talk about alliances and not having any rank, uh, I, I think... Um, it's very painful to hear this. I think it might be a good thing to address what, what Debbie is, is talking about. I have change. to say something to you. You know who the first people who went to the ovens were? Do you know who the first people Hitler killed were? It was the ch disabled children and disabled people. Did you know that? Uh, I mean, in Nazi Hitler did not kill people, but in Nazi times, under a German authority, disabled people were killed. They were the first to go. Well, I don't know whether they were the first, but they were there. I know. So it's very hard when you identify yourself as German, because I didn't know that. If I'd known that, I'd run you over in my fucking wheelchair so fast. You better watch your ankles around me. Yeah, that's hot. That's I, I feel a lot of hatred from, from your side, or um, um, a lot of energy. Um, you, now, I, I want to check something out here. I don't think you intend to really hurt Debbie. No, of course I didn't. I, I but, reacted, but I reacted um, when I had the microphone. Yes, but can you also, uh, although you didn't intend to hurt her by saying that she had no rank, uh, would you be interested in exploring uh, why that could be a very hurtful thing to say? Oh yeah, I see, I should, yeah. So, uh, I think if we can maybe hold it down to the interaction between you. Is that, is that okay with you, Debbie? Yeah, that's fine. I think we might get further, it might be more interesting. So, with Debbie's permission, I, I would like to ask you to maybe go a little further. You said at the beginning right. that um, you had a certain reaction to people who uh, were, were disabled or had different abilities, that you didn't, want to, uh, you didn't want to face them, or you didn't want to deal with them? No. I, uh, what I try to say is uh, I came in here because I, have, uh, I feel not able to relate to disabled people. Uh -huh. And I mentioned, just looking into myself, not, not this morning, but yes. uh, before, um, there is what uh, somebody called, and made sense to me, contempt of weakness. Contempt of weakness? Contempt. This means uh, yeah. Versuchung in, in German, I don't know. In, in, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but what, how about, can we explore your experience of that a bit? Like, what is it that happens that uh, when you're face to face with somebody who you feel is weaker than you? That's like a big thing to do that, but. Um, 
Well, if I uh, am in a competitive situation, mm -hmm. I, th I make use of that. Uh huh. When when you when it's competitive, yeah. So can you say just, more about just that? Just in this situation, uh, when uh, I was about to do something, and she interfered. Yes. And she called. She said, uh, I, "I I have rank." So I, I uh, react to that. Yes. Now, what, what's the difference, for instance, if let's say that I had done the same thing, like I uh, have my abilities and my disabilities, but what's the difference for, uh, seeing somebody who, at least on the surface, looks weaker? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I'd want to get into a fight with you to tell you the truth, but, but uh, who, in, in certain ways, let's say, in your in your experience, mm. looks a bit looks different. What's the difference between interacting with with her or with me? Is this okay for you? I, I know I'm putting you under a lot of pressure. No, I I, I don't feel under pressure yet. I, I don't feel that I am under pressure uh, in that way. What? Yeah, but it's not, it's not like that because I, I don't see the, the point yet on this. That's, that's what I mean by white rank and privilege. White man's rank and privilege. You have no discomfort. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you here in this group in the first place? Yeah. Well, well I I mean, I'm just curious. You came here because you... Yeah, I, I want to point. That, yeah, thanks. I want to point out that uh, he is representing a role, which a lot of you have been speaking to. The ghost, namely the one who puts down so-called weakness. So, uh, I think if, if we can hang on to this for a minute, it, it might be useful. I hope it's useful. I pray that it's going to be useful. Is it okay? Do I have do I have a consensus here to continue with this? Do we have a consensus? Yeah, okay. I think it's valuable. Anybody is free to do anything they need to do. So, Michael, let's, let's go for it. Yeah. Okay. So, what, what's, what's the difference? Let's say here's somebody in a wheelchair, and, uh, and here, if, if, I, if I had told you to get out of the way, hmm. get out of the way, man, get out of the way. Get your... Get your butt out of here, or whatever. What's the difference between my saying that and her saying that? I, in that situation, I did not make a difference. Uh huh. So you might also tell me that I have no rank. Is that right? It, if you talk to me like that, if you uh, just say that sentence, I mean, I, I'm reacting to something. It's not. Uh, yeah. So in other words, it makes no difference whether somebody is differently abled or not in your eyes. No, I, I, I said I, I came in this group, I was asked again, because I have uh, problems in, in a way to re relating to disabled people yeah. in, in a way they, uh, yeah. That's a disability. That's a big disability. That's a disability, yeah. yeah. That's what I came here for, right. Yes. You see, that's a joke. That's a joke. That doesn't keep you out of anything. It keeps you more secure in your white rank and privilege, your able-bodied white man rank and privilege. You're just collecting more evidence of how powerful you are. Uh, it's something about it. I, I, Is your I, silence... Can, can I just say something, Joe? Sorry. No, ahead, it's like, it. I feel invaded. There was an opportunity for those of us who experience ourselves as having some disability or disadvantage or whatever we might, I'm not, I don't know about the words, and there's somebody came in because they want to learn about it. Sit out there and learn about it. Here's a chance for us to get in. And be a sub I, I feel very resentful that now we're dealing with this issue here somehow. I, I don't know if I'm articulating it properly. But, I mean, I'd like to ask you to but, leave um, the circle. So would I. But 
In yes. one way, I think uh, it's it's important that we do it here because he, you are reality. You are the ghost of this is phobia, and so in one way, I think it would be necessary to deal with it. If, if you somebody's going to play the role, I'd prefer they played it with consciousness. Right, he's not playing it with consciousness. I don't want to spend all our energy he's, working he, to get through. I feel as though he's jerking off. Oh. Strong language. Listen, but. listen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say shit. I'm pissed yeah, I'm off. Not criticizing. Yes, there is a role, but I don't want us to spend all our energy but, trying to and be heard. I, I hear all of that, but this is the issue. This is the issue, and as much as this man's presence is an intruder. This is the issue. This attitude that there is something wrong with us that because that we're seen as weak and inadequate and that we have no rank. This is the issue. And it's right here in the middle. It's not out there. It's right here. Well, then somebody should help him with it. That's right. Over here, we're just don't know what's going on. We're numb and, 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 and just don't understand what's going on. Is that right? I think that in his strength, he's showing a lot of weakness that he doesn't want to show. I think you versteckst dich. You versteckst dich einfach. You're hiding yourself, she says. What do you want here? Why are you here? No, I don't know. I, I, I repeat, I said two times why I'm here. Can I help you? Okay. Yeah? Uh, let me see if this is a. I came into the group because I have a hard time relating to you who I see as weak and disabled. And I see if this is yeah, right at all. Right. I am so terrified that I could be like you. I go into shock. I turn off my feelings. I can't even imagine what life could be like if I were you. Is anything like that? And I'm afraid of my weakness, and I'm afraid to have people see it. Yeah. He's nodding yes. You're nodding yes. Is there something that you would like to add to that? Or change? Um, I um, did not realize that, uh, Debbie, I was uh, hurting you. I, uh, I, didn't, I didn't see it on that level. <coughs> I, I wanted to have my way. And you were... Uh, <coughs> I thought it was not your business. You thought it was your business. I thought it was not your business. But now, I mean, uh, this is... Uh, if, if I'm the only one who is, is, looks at it that way, and I must be wrong. I mean, I... Uh, I'm, uh, no, you're, not, you're not the only one, but there's something confusing. Because are you talking about now my disability or what my actions this morning? I, yeah, this morning, of course, but I think I would have uh, reacted to anyone because, but it's not of interest here. I was there for, for, for something else, not to okay. interact with you. But there's something else that we've been talking about, yeah. which is your perception of me as weak and your difficulty in seeing disabled people. That's what I uh, came here for to find a way to, uh, for me and, and to experience this, not to see it from the outside. Du machst das auf unsere Kosten. Du machst deine Ding auf unsere Kosten. Das ist das Ding, was mich, was mich verrückt macht. Auf unsere Kosten. You do this on, uh, on our account. We have to pay for it. That's what makes me crazy. Thank you. Wow. Here. 
but I want you to think about why you might be wrong. I can't hear you, Arnie. Yeah. He is dis Arnie's saying he is disabled in not feeling. Right. Oh. I give you all the credit to come here and really to show your different ability to your disability. And also, you are also in me. And I have this part in me too. And therefore, oh, yeah, God, yes. right. And um, I, th that makes it clear for me. And um, what else? And I have that part in me too. I used to walk all the time. And I never wore a lift on my shoe because I didn't want people to see that I really had bad shoes. And, and I have a disability that I've had all my life, but that's not progressive. But I've gotten older, and so it's progressed. When I started using a wheelchair, when I introduced myself to you, I'd say, hi, I'm Debbie. I don't usually use a wheelchair. That was my identity. And in one way, it makes me sad that, that this disease phobia, but in another, it makes me sad because there's also so much um, treasure in this illness, in this weakness, and there's so much richness in it. Um, it makes me to the, to the person I am. It, may, it gave me... Um, access to the dreamland yeah and it gave me so much it was a my most hated but my maybe but my best teacher and i would like to um to to share with you or with uh, these is phobic people i would like to share this treasure and i i don't know how because you don't see me, you don't see this treasure, you just see the crutches, you just see the wheelchair, and how, how, we, how can we show this? That it's interesting for me. Michael, yep. I've been out of work for almost two years for a combination of reasons, uh, most of which are not related to my disability. And I had a job interview last week. It's the first job interview I've had um, in that period of time. And it's a small social activist organization in Philadelphia. And it was a great interview. And the people who interviewed me loved me. Their office is on the third floor of a three-story building with 20 steps between each floor and no elevator. They interviewed me knowing I was in a wheelchair, and I interviewed them knowing they were on the third floor. They sent, they, and I let them know that I understood that they might not be able to move their office to hire me. But boy, did it hurt to have to say that. And then, they sent me a form letter that said, thank you very much for your application, but we've hired somebody who's more qualified. So when you tell me I have no rank and I threaten to cut off your legs with my wheelchair, that's what's going on. I want to make excuse for what I said and I was not, not aware that it had this um, meaning to you. And, um, yeah. I know that. Yeah. I ask you again in Deutsch. Was können wir tun, damit du ein Gefühl dafür bekommst, wie es ist, andere Fähigkeiten zu haben? Was können wir tun, weil du bist ein Vertreter der Gesellschaft, der ignorierenden, verletzenden, ja. missbrauchenden Gesellschaft? What can we do, so that you can understand how it is to be differently abled, because you are the one that's hurting us? He might be feeling that now. You, you yeah. are a representative of the yeah. society. Yeah. You, might, you might be understanding Mainstream. that now. Yeah. Pardon? said so you might be understanding that now, something, yeah. I will this wall of ignorance break. I try, I don't know how I can get to the point where I can.
Das interessiert mich wirklich. Oh. Ich würde gerne an dich herankommen, irgendwie diese Mauer von Ignoranz durchbrechen. I would like to break to that uh, wall of ignorance. I would like to get th through to you in some way. I I have to give now I uh, I'm still not really here I think but the I'm the po uh, I have to give only one sentence about my work in 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 Germany I have uh, I've in, I'm in charge also I was in charge I'm no more in in social politics uh, politics in in my state um It's meaning part of that is giving work to disabled people and the time when I was in charge we increased the number of disabled people in work from four to six percent in in the ministry this is a big, very big step so this is on the but this is all on the knowledge level so, uh, that's the so I, I don't want systemic to, level. But I want only your profession it's, what, it's what's the about feeling you? level may I speak to I don't want to praise myself but I, I feel a little get, getting a little bad now about it You hide behind your profession. You 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 say you are saying doing something good because you have this profession. But what about you? I mean, this is the issue here. But we we don't uh, get f uh, further. I think I, I feel stuck in that way. I want to I want to try something over here. Everybody slow down. Um, over here, you see, we see you somehow is very strong. We are. Yes, we see that, and we're a bit afraid of that. <laughs> we, uh, we see yes, we see her, we see you as strong, and we're a bit in shock. We don't know how to react. We try, we stereotype you, we put you in a box as weak, and yet we feel your strength. We feel the power that you have. It's a different power than ours, but we feel it. And this puts us a bit into shock. I, I felt the power, Debbie. Listen, please. Um, I felt I felt the power, and I react to that in a very inappropriate way. But uh, that was my uh, what I understand about it. I want to tell something else. It goes back to the beginning, and that is, I don't want to give up if somebody comes from a, only because somebody comes from a weak position. I don't want th that position to win because it's weak. Uh -huh. There's also a decision I made for myself. Yeah, I hear you. I want it on I a fair yeah. basis yeah. and I have in all my life I have no disregard for disabled people. I think you actually are disabled. Pardon? I, I'd like to identify you as differently abled myself. Yeah. That's in the you. sense of feeling. Yeah. That I understand that feeling something is a complicated issue for you. Yeah. Am I right about that? Right. So noticing that I'm going to choose not to torture you by trying to get you to feel something. Trying to get Do you, did I will not try to push you to feel something. But I also want to remind you of the fact that when Debbie said in the beginning, when you said you were German, and she said that the disabled were the first to go into the concentration camps, you, even though you said Hitler was alive at a different period, she was trying to say to you that she felt you were like a Nazi in what you were doing. I understand that you don't feel that way and that you actually work for the disabled. But in the relationship situation, the difficulty you have with feeling is experienced by other people as terribly oppressive. I just want to say that I, re I heard what you said, Debbie, that was a very strong thing. So. I, I'm going to take the focus off of you unless you'd like to speak more about yourself or unless other people would really like to know more about you. For me, it's all right, too. Is that okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Just one more second to check. If Go inside yourself and take a moment, see if it's okay.
I think it's all right. How do you feel about it? I don't feel good about it. Huh. Um, you don't feel good about it. Hmm. I have... Um, Is, um, is too much unexpected from too many different sides. So it's, uh, I cannot um, describe that. It's just the amount of things and uh, where it's moving and um, so I have to see. Okay, since I think that's a disability, I think I we shouldn't push him on a him. Question, but please. I'll leave it up to you. I I want to thank you for sitting in the fire with me. I want to thank you for staying in the fire. Okay, thank you. I hear you. Thank you. First of all, I want to thank all of my family and friends and those that love me in spite and love me the way I am and challenge me anyway. I want to thank them. And I want to say it took a lot for me to come up here and get in the middle. I wasn't coming. I was going to do as I regularly do, sit back and watch because I had separated myself from this. Thank and you. My feelings, they were, they, they're exposed. My heart is open. And what I want to say is that once again, my feelings, I cannot speak for everybody else here, has been exploited and jeopardize because you all are protecting, once again, your white male. We're protecting your white male. You are going to let him be there, categorized as disabled because he is not able to feel. It took a lot for me to get up here. I resent it. I'm not mad at the concept, the idea, the intent. But once again, you've exploited me because of your white male. Wow. Yeah. Do you, do you really? Yes. Do you really, Kate? I think I do. I'm trying, if I don't, I'm trying to. I'm trying to listen to you. I want to hear what you're saying. I, I, you do it so unconsciously to defend. I was the one. Def I was one defending him. So maybe you want to speak to me. You, where's Arnie? Yeah, Both I was them. doing it. Yeah. I want to say. Can I say why? Why? Th thank you. Because I don't want anybody to be hurt. Now, I don't... Joe, I was hurt. I understand that. And I just wasn't perceptive enough to see that. And I apologize for That's that. That's the point. I understand. There's that no, is the point. Yes. There's no doubt that the disability maybe of if, white if men we'll, to not feel... Maybe if it's a disability, and, but it has destroyed the world. Yes. Maybe yes. if Willine and I could finish this, it would be, it would be good. Uh, Willine, I. I hear you, and I have my own limitations. I have my own limitations too, and it wasn't my intent to marginalize anybody. But I understand how that works, and I'm sorry about it. 
What is it going to take? What's it going to take? It's going to take dialogue like we're having, and I appreciate you staying in it with me. I want to talk to him. I want to know. You're a coward when it comes to disabled people. I am what? Coward. Feige, coward, yeah. In what way? You use that weakness to get your way. Seemingly weakness. Of them, of me, to get your way. When did, uh, to get my way, when did I use your, your weakness? Rank. When, your rank. When did use I use your it? privilege. When did, use your rank. When did I use it with you? You did it. You did it now. N now? Yes. You did it now? Yes. What, when now? Just a second? Coming into the circle. You see, you're, you're talking to us here. I'm, I'm going to. No, no, I, I, I can uh, defend myself. I, I came here, as I said, because um, there is a role for me to play, to be a person feeling unable to communicate with disabled people. You could That's come to me. Yeah. You could come to me privately. You could come and say, can I talk to you? I need to talk about this. You don't need to come into this circle where there was an opportunity for us to work on some stuff among ourselves. And instead it became about you. Yeah, but it was not, it was you who made this a point. You get it, if you said you, this before. Listen, there's nothing I can say that's going to have you get this. Yes, that's right. I think that's Do right. Do you get my point? I think that you, I, I'm sorry. You I, all protected your white male yeah. again. I'm a white male, and uh, I want to stand in for him. That's right. Since I'm, I'm going to, well, Ian, I'm going to risk this because because uh, I'm torn. You see, I hear if this is a role, if this is, I don't know, oh, it could be great. him, it could be me. You're going to keep talking to me, and I'm for sure going to hear it, but it's not going in. Your actions cause devastation on people. I was protected in this circle. Yes. It look, but can I say something, Willie? Because it looks like on the social level, where this is a white male protect, being protected, that you're right, that he has a lot of power. But it looks like there's also another level where he doesn't have a lot of power in the moment. But he and, used and, it. And, I, I'm sorry, go ahead. He used it here. Yes. I don't know if I can explain it, but I've heard you say this, Willing, so many times before, and it was like I never quite got it. And because now I'm part of this group where it happened, I'm starting to get it. And I don't know what more to say about it except. I'm with you. I hear you. That's right. I agree with you. I've been listening to white men in this room stand up and t say the answer. They stand white. And I think that what's happened here, I don't want to put my foot in it, but the contrast between the bottom and the top is so great at this point. I have a hard time listening to white men. And yes, I went through with this process because I thought I saw some possibility there. But you're right, Wiley. It's, you're right. So maybe we should not keep continuing to talk to him. Maybe that needs to be some healing among this community. But if we continue, it actually may continue the whole abusive situation. I don't know if he can give us what we were looking for. 
I feel that I may have, have may have a higher psychological rank than he, and I recognize it that at this moment, and therefore, I didn't recognize it before. This kind of rank I have in relationship with him, and therefore I want to apologize for my non-consciousness about this. I want to thank everybody here, because this was not easy. This was nothing like I expected. Um, and I've lived with my disability for 50 years. I've had a long, long time to get used to it. And it still bugs the hell out of me. So I know the pain that you must be feeling when you have a new disability, a newly acquired disability, or when you're finally having to acknowledge the presence of a disability. And I think it took a lot to come and join me in my dream to do this. So I really want to thank you all for doing that. Thank you. But, but, but did we learn anything from any of the other people for what they said? But how do we listen to them? But, but, how do, but how do we deal with what they said? For more information and online discussions with the participants and facilitators of this and other tapes in this series, please contact us at our website, www.iworldwork.com. <laughs>